All right, just want to do a real quick build update on the Limitless. Uh, it's basically all put together. Uh, I did manage to get uh, carbon fiber front splitter. Uh, I got the uh, rear wing carbon fiber. Uh, this is not not adjustable. Uh, these inner pieces here are carbon fiber as well, uh, with the aluminum center brace that screws in on both sides there. Uh, it's a little dirty, but uh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty uh, it's solid, you know. It's pretty stable in the car, which is uh, about the important thing, I guess. Uh, it's not uh, adjustable, like I said, so. But uh, I think it'll do for, for how I'm driving the car right now, anyway. Uh, let's see here. I got the, uh, also, the uh, uh, skid plates. Also carbon fiber. Uh, if you can see. And then these back pieces here. Here and then there. Uh, this uh, also acts as a, uh, uh, a skid plate, at least for this, this rear uh, diff hump, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, I did get a, a chassis protector here. Uh, I went with uh, Dark Side Studios uh, vinyl. <clears throat> uh, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty tricky to get on if you uh, have never done it. I guess basically because of the humps here there's a hump here and then there's a hump up front here underneath this uh, skid plate which you're not going to see but uh, and actually it turned out real well for me uh, I don't know I don't know if it'll show up here in the camera but it's a cool design uh, I like it it's pretty thick I don't know the actual measurement on it but uh, it's real nice man it's got a real nice gloss to it. You can get it with, uh, uh, I don't want to say glitter, I guess like a metallic flake. Uh, and you can get them without. Uh, pretty cool. And it comes with some extra stuff. Like it actually come out with, it come with this uh, hand. Like another decal about this size. And it come with some band-aid stickers, I guess. If, you, if you're doing some bashing and get some holes in it, you can cover it with these uh, band-aid stickers or pretty cool looking uh, so that was, that was a nice add-on you know help kind of protect the car a little bit uh, I just got this Gorilla Tape on here I gotta peel this off this was uh, basically I did this whole line this whole chassis plate with Gorilla Tape in the whole bottom section here uh, kind of protect the car a little bit till this came in so other than that that's about it man uh, Runs good, so that's, uh, that's all that matters. Uh, I did get my telemetry fixed on it and got that going finally. Uh, I got the uh, telemetry going on this guy here. Uh, also, I had to get another receiver for the Futaba radio. I still got to get a few more for my other cars, but uh, uh the radio working pretty good for me so far 7 PXR uh, if you buy this radio and you buy the uh, telemetry adapters and follow the directions uh, you, you're probably gonna have problems I know I did uh, I think a few other people did uh, basically here oh, I'm not gonna try to stretch this video out too long but uh, this is how they want you to do it okay and this works for like the original 7px Futaba and the other radios uh, it does not work for the 7pxr okay uh, let's see here they want you to put it on channel 3 okay this is for uh, when you hook the uh, castle link up to this telemetry module you can get into this little bit of software here uh, and it'll be set on channel 3. You have to set it on, uh, let's see here, I got it. I've been kind of in touch with uh, Joe Ford on, uh, you know, through Castle Creations here on this. 
telemetry stuff here. Hold on, just give me a second here. Okay. Alright, so you have to, instead of having it on channel 3, you have to put it on uh, external input wire. Okay, so you switch it to external input wire. Okay, you leave the slots 8 through 15. And then you come back here. Alright, and you, and you follow directions just like this, but you take this wire, instead of leaving it unplugged, you just plug that into channel 2, okay? Which is, uh, what is that? Focus here, come on. That's the orange, red, and brown wire, okay? Because it, 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 it tells you here to, uh, you know, to, to plug the red, white, and black into S-Bus 2 port. Okay, which is correct, and it tells you to leave this unplugged, but you actually have to plug it in the channel too. So you do that, and you'll be good. If you don't do that, and you do it the way it's telling you here with this new 7PXR radio, you are uh, you're not going to have throttle. Okay, and you won't be able to calibrate uh, your radio. Okay, uh, when you're doing this, you also have to go onto uh, Castle Link and switch your Live Link. You have to enable your Live Link. Okay, uh, I had a real issue with this. And uh, I had to uh, kind of work with Joe on this for a little bit, for about a week, until we figured, got it figured out. So, uh, yeah, if, uh, I hope that helps anybody if they, uh, you know, get this radio and probably going to go through the same thing I am. Uh, just something Futaba did, I guess. Uh, changed something, software or whatever, with this uh, radio. But other than that, man, uh, oh, uh, real up quick update on the uh, Mama Monster X8S it's awesome man I love it uh, basically I bashed the shit out of it different gearing and uh, it just it stays very very cool uh, I've only ran it a couple times so I can't really put too much input on it uh, I got this one here I just got in uh, I'm switching out my my connectors man again with the focus here uh, Okay, these are uh, o OSC uh, eight millimeter uh, anti spark connectors. Okay, Jesus. Yeah. All right. Uh, basically, they're like uh, XT90. Okay, just uh, with the anti spark. You know, they're they're pretty damn pretty damn big here. So we'll see how they work. I think they're gonna do all right though. So I'll get everything switched out. Well, other than that, that's it, man. Uh, I'll probably do another video. I'll try to get some running videos in. Uh, other than that, man, I appreciate you guys watching. And, uh, have a good night, man. All right.